Hey guys, I'm Johnny, owner of Blades of Grass Lawn Care, and today I'm going to show you my office slash workshop. Now, I've been asked um, by a couple of people, you know, why, why do I show... <laughs> my setup why do i show my office area and let me tell you why when i first started doing this this lawn care thing i went on youtube and you know to see if anyone had an example of what this stuff looks like you know what what the setup looks like the the office the where they keep anything you know I, there wasn't anything that i could use as a guide so my view on this is that I want you guys to see how I do it this way if you see anything that I can improve then you know you can just put it in the comment below and let me know hey listen instead of putting this here why don't you put this there it makes sense now the only thing I don't understand why people say to me is you know why do you have an X mark get a sky you know come on guys let's let's not go there you know the, again there's a reason I have what I have and there's a reason you buy what you buy right we don't buy the most popular thing on the market at the current time correct we buy the equipment that works better and more efficient and the equipment that makes us money right that's what it's all about all right so I run my business out of a storage unit uh, the current one that I'm in is a 20 by 15 now why do I prefer a storage unit over a building or a separate shop? My concept with it is I love the fact that I don't have to pay property taxes, I don't have to pay building taxes. If I want to downgrade my setups, all I have to do is move units. If I want to upgrade, all I have to do is move units. I currently have water and light accessible. Um, so this is to me a prime area or location for me to run my business from now the storage unit that i've been using have a manager on site and so convenient that the main camera for you know the storage unit is right where i store my stuff so the camera is you know if it turns left if it turns right it's always looking at my storage unit also the manager lives on site in order to get into my unit you have to press a keypad with a code that i can change it whenever i feel like it you know uh one of my workers you know decide to quit i can easily change the code on the keypad um, it is a very secured area and i'm extremely comfortable with it and also it's uh two to three miles away from my house so it makes sense to me plus also something that you need to keep in mind guys it is tax deductible okay this is where I'm running my business from so therefore the payments that I'm making are uh, tax deductible okay so it makes sense to me what do you guys think I think it makes sense right oh another thing also guys is that I got tired of having guys meet up and congregate at my house you know this is my home um, I don't want, you know, three or four guys coming to the house, you know, and, and once, you know, and, and I live in a, in a subdivision and, and, and then you have all these cars in a subdivision. Listen, I, I want to have my business away from home. To me, it makes sense. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, let's start with the, uh, with the location. This is the storage unit, you know, pretty simple, straight to the point. Um, and yeah, this is all the equipment that goes to my open trailer. If you haven't had a chance to check out my open trailer and my closed trailer setup, check on the top. I'll go ahead and put a link on the top. Uh, additional equipment to that open trailer is my Oscar Vanna 150 BT. I've had this blower for the past seven close to eight years and never had an issue with it and i keep it as a backup on the top i have two chainsaws they're still ms 170 old school uh 
As a matter of fact, if you guys know Dan from Dan's vlog, he was using one of these. So yeah. And then, you know, my air, air tank. You gotta have an air tank for, you know, sometimes you get up in the morning, <laughs> come out here and things are, uh, are flat because, you know, just uh, mother nature, right? Things happen. My hose, bucket, my wheelbarrow for mulch, my pressure washer, and this is also where I keep all my uh, fertilizers and stuff like that. And, and I don't hold on to anything, guys. Like, like you can tell in my storage, I don't hold on to things just in case. You know, I only buy and utilize what I need at the moment. And uh, site one, you know, they it's about three miles from me. So I go over there, purchase my fertilizers and everything, and it's good to go. So I have all my shovels, my pitchforks, and, you know, everything else that I actually utilize <clears throat> to conduct my business. And as you can tell, all this equipment goes to my open trailer, except this one. And this is a RX-110, I think it is. No, this is a one end. Yeah, this is a FS. 100 RX very very powerful uh, string trimmer now this grip here <sighs> I'll give it some more time guys um, I was giving the grip to kind of try it out I tried it out one time and, and believe me I, I didn't like it and, and I'm gonna keep it for uh, for the spring and see how it works but you know like anything else guys if you're not used to it and, and if it to me it's it's not something that we're going to utilize. None of my guys like it. I personally don't like it, but you know, we'll see. All right, and here I have all the uh, attachments for my steel combi. And up here, I have my extended pole saw. And it's an Echo PPT 2620. And I think this one is like 12 feet. Yeah. I think that's what it is. All right, this is where I keep all my chemicals in this one particular area. And this is a battery powered chainsaw that Milwaukee uh, sent to us. So we're gonna be using this to see uh, if it works for us. I've used it a couple of times and it works pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I take these with me during this uh, summer and spring. And if I see any other lawn, lawn care providers, I usually give them a, a roll so they can try it out. This is Echo Black Diamond. Uh, I personally don't like it. It um, it breaks too fast, but that's to give away to guys. So if you guys see me out there, you know, don't don't try to mean mug me guys, you know, say hello, say what's up, talk to me people. You know, there's enough grass for all of us to cut, right? <laughs> all right, let's continue on. Here we have, you know, schedule, Atromeg. This is my, <clears throat> my direct mailer. And then I have one for the fall, winter, and basically is for pine straw. All right, what else we have? What else we have? Uh, battery powered tools, guys. Um, I like Milwaukee tools because I use the uh, M18 uh, battery for all of my stuff. And also have the uh, two DeWalt's. All right, and blades, two box of edger blades and more blades over here. Cone, a couple of posters. Guys, we're only as good as our last job. I'm telling you, I, I remind my guys every time we leave, Customers don't give a damn what you did last week, man. All they care about is what their property looked like when you leave at that particular time, right? So think about that. All right, and then, you know, we have all our tools in here, you know, screwdrivers and stuff. Um, so we have tools, tools, number tools on in here. <clears throat> and we have the uh, accelerator bagger right here, waters, and a couple of uh, tanks, spray tanks up here. Uh, we have a fan <laughs> for the summertime. Again, like I said before, all we have to do is plug it in right there. And uh, we have power in here. 
This is my uh, my weed identification board. It makes it much, much easier. I mean, you know, I don't need to memorize these. Some weeds I know, guys, and some of them I just take a picture, come over here, look at it, and so on. This is what I do during the winter, winter time. Make stuff like this, you know, like I'm, I'm back in grade school, but this thing comes in extremely handy. And we have a calendar. And here we have a Bradley sharpener. I've used this a couple of times, but I always go to my regular handheld, guys. I'm telling you, man, this <laughs> this is what I use, you know? Even though I have the Bradley and it does a great job, um, I utilize this most of the time. I put it on the little thingy and hold it down. So yeah, and that's the power cord that I take <clears throat> over there and plug it in. That's where my electricity and water is. So yeah, this is it guys, this is it. Simple and plain, I don't have a lot of uh, additional equipment. Um, again, I don't believe in, in just keeping stuff just for the heck of it. I'm not, um, I know how to do mechanical work, but I, I just choose not to. Uh, most of my stuff is on warranty, so I just take it in, have it repaired and bring it back. Um, and again, that's, that's just me. You know, if, if you're a mechanically inclined person and that's what you want to do, that's fine. But when it comes to oil changes, you know, the basic stuff, of course I do. You know, but any major work, I just take it back to the dealer and uh, and that's it. But yeah, guys, um, this is my, my storage. And let me know what you guys think. Again, it's easy for me. Oh, and one thing also, all my shelves, everything, is on wheels <laughs> except my desk but everything is on wheels so if I need to move to a smaller storage or bigger storage all I have to do is roll that stuff over to the other side so I make it simple and plain guys I don't like to hold on to a lot of uh, a lot of stuff um, so yeah let me know what you guys think um, and if you have any questions in regards to this right here uh, price I'm currently paying let me see this is a 15 by 20 and I'm paying a hundred on 83 I think it's 180 in between 180 to 200 dollars a month that's how much I'm paying yeah for my particular uh, storage and again I have light and I have water yeah. what else can you ask for right and I can stay right here and, and wash my vehicles and clean my mowers and everything. And there's no issues. There's no issues. I've been here for the past two years and I will be here for, for a while. All right. That's the manager right there. Just passed by. Yeah. But other than that, guys, hey, um, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Let me know in a comment below if, you know, you have any questions in regards to, you know, uh, what this work and I, again, you know, this is my situation and I understand you're not in my situation So, you know, man, you know the last time I showed my stories, you know, I, I got comments like well, you know It's it's, it's against the law to store fuel and yeah, let's let's stop that guys. Let's stop that. We're about learning. We're about positive uh, thinking um, Let me know what you think. Okay Other than that guys again have a great one. Pop smoke.